Hey everybody, welcome to the first episode of Play Prison Solitary Confinement. Uh, Solitary Confinement is going to be a variant of Play Prison where I just get up here and play either uh, single player games that I really enjoy or games that don't readily support uh, single or easy co op and things like that on the same TV. So, what I'm playing right now is Vanilla Team Fortress 2 on Xbox 360. Uh, I've got it on Steam. I primarily play it on Steam, but every so often I do like coming back to this and just not having to pull the mouse out and get the computer all set up for it. That was a fucking spot that just ran past us. But, um... So I'm playing as my favorite class, Engineer, and the reason I decided to just sporadically do the, uh first episode of Solitary Confinement, holy freaking shit, of Solitary Confinement was, dumbass, was because, it good on you, was because I saw a guy in this map, and I don't know if he's still, yeah, Wizard Bobcat, engineer, uh, shout out to you, Wizard Bobcat, if, um, if you watch us, good shit. But he had set up a teleporter outside the fencing area. And I was just gonna, like, I was gonna try to get footage of that if he was still gonna go for it, because I've, I've done it only very few times, and it's just, like, it looks really awesome just getting outside the basic two-fort map. And I'm sure a lot of the guys that play this on Steam that know how to hack and mod and, uh, put in extra commands for no clipping and all that shit, know how to do this like, like nothing. But it's always like, it was a, it was a really big thing when I was in college and the first time I was playing, uh, well, not the first time, but one of the times I was playing uh, TF2 on 360, I came across a two fort where there was an engineer running around that had no gamer tag above his head was radiating rainbow colors no other colors and palette or anything like that on him and he was just he was hovering around with the uh, PDA in his hand and things would appear out of thin air and he would adjust them and just keep on going and he had actually set it up outside the map so people had teleporters that went out there and everyone was just fighting in the giant flat desert expanse beyond all these buildings and the way these maps are set up with the magnification for a skybox, if you were here, you had giant versions of... Damn. You had giant versions of the classes just running around the background. Like, really fast, angry, brightly colored colossi. So, that just, that intrigued the shit out of me. And I was, like, really, really psyched. I was like, oh man! And I got up here just for the hell of it a couple of weeks ago, because it's been years since I played it on 360. But, um, because you can't get the Jag or upgradable dispensers in the vanilla version. <laughs> it's fucking Microsoft and Xbox and all that shit. But, um, hypocrite playing their fucking system. But I was playing it the other day, just for the hell of it. I'm like, holy shit, they gotta have a fucking teleporter around here somewhere for the hell of it playing vanilla and I hopped in well there goes me and I hopped in one uh, map and it was someone's adjusted Half-Life 2 map with like guard towers and stuff he was in the midst of working on it he was like a, a hovering heavy that was in there with like nothing in his hand had like the sandwich pose but was going around and like creating holes and walls to make passages and had pulled in extra uh, texture built walls and things like that in order to separate so you wouldn't be able to just easily jump over one wall and just spawn camp the hell out of folks. Son of a bitch. Good stuff, our engineers. But so I'm not really going to be playing this to really.
I don't really plan this to be, like, super awesome. Oh, man, that fucker switched over to red. But, um... Quite simply, just because I thought the guy was trying to get outside the map, and I figured I could capture some footage of that. Just because that's... Ah, that's such an intriguing thing. It's like... It's like finding leaked footage from, like, an alpha or a beta build of a game that you fucking love. We are getting some fucking crazy ass lag. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Buckshot in my ass. Yep. But um. I mean, it's just one of those, like, for me, it's one of those weird, intriguing things. Like, to this day, I know it's not real, but I like to think there's a 17th Colossus. I just think that'd be awesome. And so I love watching the videos. Good lord. I apologize to the guy who did it, but I cannot remember his name for the life of me. But he did all the, um, the no clip and the infinite jump with the, uh, parachute and went through, like, the mountains and stuff and found what were going to be... Uh, arenas for some of the beta colossi and all that kind of stuff and that just god that's awesome because it's just there's this shit that people just god fucking kids up here there's people that just hide shit in these games and it just it, it makes it so much better in my opinion because you find that oh holy crap we have no defenses anymore in here but you find that hidden stuff and it just it just adds to that game a lot of people might not feel the same way, but that's that's how I feel about that kind of stuff. So, even if it's just like a little texture put under something where you would never see it unless you clip through the ground, or just the ability to walk on the outside of a map because you know how to glitch through a wall, I think that's pretty damn awesome. And so, I mean, so it's not just, I mean, granted, some people might like to just watch me sit here and fucking build shit and critique the hell out of my gameplay style or vanilla Minecraft. <laughs> vanilla Minecraft. <laughs> vanilla Team Fortress 2. Uh, but I am actually gonna try and do what that motherfucker was doing before. Apparently he got on this he got on this railing. Oh, oh. And he crouch wall. And I I don't even have enough metal to build a fucking exit. Alright. Let's get some metal and try to do this upright. And I'm probably going to be terrible at this because I'm not really good at doubling someone's... Okay. He was here, and he went up and over. It's like he was trying to build it. You know, a tutorial video on this would be awesome. Like to preface before I came into this. But I mean, I saw him doing it, and I figured, hey, I'll, hey this is the path to take. I figured, why not try it myself? To no avail. Damn, damn, damn. Fuck. See if there's a way to just straight up clip through. Because I don't patch this this version worth damn. Because when I started this game, I had a soldier standing right up there. An engineer standing on the other side of that fence. On for my team, there was an exit. But I could never find the entrance for that teleporter.
I'm still waiting for there to be that one day I hop into 360 TF2 and someone's got like some of the hats or one of the different weapons. It's like, how the fuck did they do that? I wouldn't put it past them. People had to do some crazy stuff breaking down code of games and that kind of thing. I'll try this for a little bit longer. And then I'll see about feeding the dog dog and getting me some to eat. Fuck this guy. Alright. We have taken we have we have taken the enemy and have Let's see, could there be any other places that I can glitch for? Well, you know what? Since we've kind of exhausted the possibilities here, because I don't think that... When I joined it, it was only four people, so I'm not surprised they were jumping outside the map. Oh, hell yeah, we did it! Yeah, that was me. I did that. And the best victory taunt... Nope, oh, there we go. And you heard it, but it didn't go off. It's weird seeing him without any of the uh, extra adornments I've got on him in the Steam version. Alright, so let's pop into this. Yes. Quick match. See what we can find. I've not seen any of those crazy names. 7 of 8, 4 of 16. Let's see. Oh, yeah, those are my performance records just for the 360 version. Because for the longest time, I couldn't support Steam on the computer I used to have. So this is how I played TF2. Fucking love the game. And so this was like the end-all be-all. And then when I got the ability to play on Steam, everything opened up. It was just like, oh, there's so much more. Crap, we got a lot of engineers. At least I could do. Or you could just be a dick. That's cool, be a dick. Be a great big old flop of things. Alright, let's see. Let's see how our fortifications hold. Do do do. Yeah, well, I'm coming outside the map here. How's the medic? Oh, shit. <laughs> Fucking enemy. And that's the only other downside of playing this up here, as opposed to Steam. I've got a buddy of mine who plays it a lot with me whenever we play on Steam. And he's... He's a freaking awesome pyro. So, quite literally, he can, like, spy sweep like nobody's business. Flank whole nine yards. We got tactics down pat. So, it's always nice to kind of have a pyro backing you up when you're an NG. Game going okay? This is one of the other downsides to the 360 version. Well, everybody's just kind of hanging out. Yeah, there we There it is. Okay, so, uh, we got time for one more attempt. Let's try to just immediately jump into a 2 forward match. A lot of people like the other game types, but... Uh, ooh, there we go. 2 forward with only three people might be doing some crazy stuff. But, um... I'm a fan of capture the flag and shooters. I mean, free-for-all's fun. Team battle is awesome. I'd love me some fucking, uh... Some... Battlefield 3. That's a good damn game. I just like the shooters that have teamwork. It's, it's a nice... It's a nice change up. Oh, it is an engineer. Maybe he has done something crazy. Yo. Sonic Dwarf 12. Oh, cool. He's another. Another 12er. Alright, Sonic Dwarf 12. Where are you at? I always pick blue so much. I forget how the. Oh, we got a scout. I forget how the outside of the red base actually looks. Because I'm always turtling up. Working on the defenses and whatnot. But let me see. What's going on down here? Oh, I bet. You got some good defenses going down, buddy. Alright. Then I'll take my secondary setup spot. 
catching folks coming down the fucking stairs. Hell yeah. Some people like to run on and try to like recruit metal, things like that. But I think it's better to, even in vanilla, to just whack it with the wrench. Because I mean, you're going to make it build faster. And that's the quicker it'll be able to shoot your opponents in the face. So that's nice. Alright. So after I get this buddy, built, buddy of mine built up, I am gonna go and go offensive, NG. Since this is probably the last little thing I do for this episode. And don't worry, I will be returning to this game. Especially if I can catch people doing some of that crazy stuff. Alright, so, that's all set up. Let's play offensive, NG, and run in there, let me know what the hell we do. Speaking of which, that motherfucker had the same idea. Got that ran off. Son of a fucking bitch. Goddamn, eat my buckshot, you son of a bitch. Oh, yes! And I caught that other guy. Good stuff. Nicely dobs. Nicely done, Sentry. I don't know what's wrong with me today, talking wise. Alrighty. Let's keep this going. Let's see what's going on. Make my, uh. Oh, nice. Usually not a fan of spies, but when they sap the other team's shit, I'm all for it. Alright. Oh, shit. Ooh. My ass hairs for a second there. All right, let's go down here. Oh, here he comes. Oh, nice. That's one of ours. Nothing. We have taken the enemy intelligence. Juke, juke, juke. Ah, shit. Ah, uh, should have just gone up the way I came down. I was hoping he would have just like hauled ass after me. We have taken. Oh hell yes, go, dude, go. On. <sighs> right under that fucking heavy's nose. Awesome. You gonna take the sewers or the straight across? Yeah, taking my path. Straight across. Or they I'll catch in the pass. Make sure you get back all right. Especially if that spy is not our spy. Shit, I don't think he is. Alright, come on, boy. Yeah, because that was his. I got your back, dude. I got your back. Go, go, go. In this with a victory. Or at least a point. Oh, come on, dance with me. Yeah! Alright, so Sonic Dwarf 12, good stuff, dude. Uh, folks, this is going to be the end of the first episode of Play Prison Solitary Confinement. But. Team Fortress 2 is going to be one of those that I am going to be more than happy to come back to. You motherfucker. Because this is always a source of good times. Damn. Oh, and he took out Sonic Dwarf. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was good. Yeah, fuck it. Oh, they're gonna take him out. No, Sentry! It's like in movies where they cut away at the last second before you actually see the final death. Well, they're moving forward, so that means I gotta be like anybody else and uh, puss out. So, that was it for the first episode of Play Prison Solitary Confinement. I want to thank you guys for joining me, and remember, stay out of trouble. Bye.